You're watching the Northeastern News Program that keeps you up to date, aware, and informed on all things related to Northeastern High School. This is High Street Morning News. Good morning, Northeastern. Today is Wednesday, February 22nd, 2017, Cycle Day 3. I'm Devin Seeger. And I'm Alex Raymond, and it is time once again to give you guys some more info on what happened today in Black History Month. So, let's send it over to Emily. Today in history, February 22nd, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince won the first ever Grammy for a best rap performance for their single, Parents Just Don't Understand. The group would then go on to win their second rap Grammy for the hit song, Summertime, which peaked at number four on the Billboard Top 100. The group has sold over 5.5 million albums in the US, and the two artists claim that they are still best friends, haven't split up. To learn more great facts about black history, visit aaregistry.org. NHS more facts presents. will be coming your way tomorrow, but for right now, we're going to take it to some announcements. Attention students, Miss Newcomb could still use a few more ushers for the musical. If you think you may be available, check your schedule to see if you can help usher this Friday, Saturday, and or Sunday. If you can, stop by the library to sign up. For those of you who already signed up, you need to be in the library at 6 p.m. for the evening shows and 1 p.m. for the afternoon show. Remember to dress in a white top and black pants or skirt, or you can wear a Sister Act t-shirt with dark pants and or a skirt. And speaking of Sister Act t-shirts, the Sister Act t-shirts have arrived. They're only $10 and you can see Miss Newcomb or Mrs. Seifert in the library to purchase one. And guess what? If you're an usher, you get a, dis a discount on the shirt, so they'll cost even less than $10. If you have any questions, please see Miss Newcomb. And one more thing for the ushers. We are not having a meeting before the musical, so you have to see Miss Newcomb or Mrs. Seifert to pick up an informational sheet with the details of the musical. Thanks again for volunteering, and we'll see you in the library at 6 o'clock on Friday and Saturday and 1 o'clock on Sunday. All current members. All yeah. current members <laughs> for National Honor Society and members slated for induction on March 2nd should go to Schoology and click the National Honor Society tab under Courses. Please respond to the induction gown sizing in Aval Avalanche Express. For the Avalanche Express trip, please respond with either yes or no so we can have an accurate count before the deadline. Money is due by Thursday to Mrs. Ross or Mr. Cook. New members should also respond to the t-shirt order form. Please bring your family to the spaghetti dinner this Saturday evening here at Northeastern High School. The Diversity Club will be serving spaghetti, salad, breadsticks, and dessert from 5 to 7 p.m. Tickets at the door are $8 for adults and $6 for senior citizens or children, and children under 5 are free. Come enjoy dinner before the musical. There will be a junior and senior class prom meeting in the auditorium during academic prep on Monday, February 27th. Juniors and seniors should bring their belongings to stay in the auditorium for all of academic prep. Recently, three students from our high school band participated in York County District Band Concert. That's right, so we're going to give you guys a little more info on what that was about, so let's send it down to Colin Wunsch. What's up, Colin? So... We are having some technical difficulties, so we're going to take it to sports. Good morning, Northeastern. This past weekend, the wrestling team competed in some successful matches. Cole Wilson placed first in his sectional. Dedrick Turner and Blaine Yinger were both the runner-up in their sectional, and Corey Eaton placed in the Conzi Finals. They'll all be wrestling in districts. Also, a big congrats to Connor Slanker, who placed, who placed sixth, and Tommy Gradwell, who placed fifth. Great job to all the boys in the wrestling team. The next boys' basketball game will be on Thursday here at home. 
Our Bobcats will take on Greencastle in the District 3 quarterfinal game. All tickets will be sold at the door, which opens at 5.45. Tickets are $4 for students and $6 for adults. Come out and support the guys as they continue to thrive in the postseason. The Winter Sports Awards ceremony for both JV and Varsity Sports will be held on February 28th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. So that is next Tuesday. JV and Varsity student athletes will receive their certificates and awards earned for their participation in the winter season. Student athletes must be present in order to receive their awards. Attention all baseball players, there will be no workouts this evening. However, we will be practicing tomorrow and Friday. The workouts tom tomorrow and Friday will not be in the evening, but right after school. Be ready to go, be ready to go at 2.55 and meet in the 9th grade academy, prepared to go outside. Now here's the lunch for the day. Today's lunch will be French toast with sausage. Sandwich of the day will be chicken patty and Italian sub. There will be meat lover pizza in the pizza line. For tomorrow's breakfast, we're going to be having a breakfast sandwich or wrap. And tomorrow's lunch will be chicken tenders with pasta alfredo. Sandwich of the day is pub burger with fixins or tuna and chicken salad. And there will be barbecue and buffalo chicken pizza in the pizza line. We'll be right back after this. So we have Fatu down with Miss Newcomb down in the library, so we are going to take it to them. What's up, Fatu? Thanks, guys. I'm down here with Mrs. Dellinger, and we're in the library, and there's all these baskets, and I know that they have something to do with FBLA, so can you tell us what that's about? Of course. This is the for FBLA, and we are raising money for our state charity, which this year is the National Kidney Foundation, and so we have... Um, People in the school have generously donated baskets, and they are here in the library for display. We are selling raffle tickets. They are three for one dollar or twenty for five dollars. I always have to think about that. And when you get a raffle ticket, come down here, choose the basket that you would most like to win, and put as many tickets in as you can. And then the tickets will be drawn next week. So we'll see who the winners are. So the baskets are on display here this week today through Friday and then also at the musical so you don't have a ton of time so make sure you come and buy your tickets they're on sale um, at lunchtime in the cafeteria or you can always swing by 106 which is my room to get tickets and then you can come on down and bid on a basket and hope that you win all right so how how does the how when exactly can students get their tickets absolutely so tickets Tickets are on sale. Um, I've got some in my hand right now, so I'm ready to sell. And um, you can get them at lunchtime in the cafeteria. Students will be walking around circulating, and you can swing by 106 anytime. Teachers can also email me if they would like tickets. I'd be happy to, del to deliver them because we are hoping um, to get as much money as we can for the National Kidney Foundation. That's great. All right. All right. So. If you want to buy your tickets, make sure to buy your tickets for the for this raffle and now we're going to send it over to Colin. All right, let's try this again. I'm down here with Anna Sutton, Rachel McJunkins and Grace Ann Temple. They participated in a special concert. So what what was it? It was the District 7 Band Festival. How it works is in May, they assign us different pieces for every instrument, and then you buy the piece, and you have until the first weekend in December to fully perfect this piece along with a set of scales. Once you're at the audition, you audition with several different people from all over the place for, in my case, two seats. And then if you find out that you're in, they hand you a folder and you participate in the festival the next month. All right, very cool. That's a special group of people you're with. So what was that experience like? Um, well, it's two very long days where you just practice all day long, and then at the end of the second day you have a concert, and we all stayed in a hotel room together, and it was uh, really fun. All right, very cool. We have some very talented musicians here in Northeastern. To all you younger band members and musical students, definitely try it out. Back to you guys at the desk. 
Thank you very much, Colin. That is it from us, from all of us here at Northeastern High School and High Street Morning News. We all wish you a fantastic day. Stay classy, Northeastern.